Hello and welcome to BeWalk. This video is going to cover registering a new BeWalk transect. So at this stage we would expect you to have gone and done a preliminary walk of your proposed route and taken out the habitat and land use guidance forms, split that route into at least three separate sections and noted down the habitat and land use types for those sections. So once you've got that information, you can come back to the website and register that transect. So if we head to the My Sites tab, click Add Site, and enter the basic details for that transect. So we want to select a transect name. So this is a, a unique name that ideally represents the, the site or the area of that transect. If you know the grid reference, that's great, but don't worry if not. You can use this map to zoom into your location, or you can get a little bit closer by typing in a place. And then we'll still need to zoom in to find the exact location of our transect. So if we select um, an approximately central grid square to the transect, that will then autofill the grid reference. So then we need to add the county, the number of sections that we've split it into. So the overall length that will be automatically calculated once we've drawn in the sections and then the year that we're setting it up. And we click save at the bottom right. And that saves that transect with us at our end. So we can see that a new transect has been registered. So the next stage is to draw in the route for each of the sections of the transect. So the map will default to that central grid reference we selected. So we'll generally need to zoom out to get that better overall view of our transect area. So it will default to a satellite image. You can change it to a streets image, but often you get a lot less detail here. So more often than not, the satellite image is better to use. We want to draw in our different sections. So section one is highlighted here and we're automatically on the drawing tool. So we get this little red circle. And if we select the start point for our first section, so if we click once with the mouse, this sets that line to be able to draw that route. So we then dot to dot style, click where that route goes. So every time we click, it allows us to slightly change direction. So follow the route, and then when you get to the end of that section, double click, and that sets that section. And move on to your next section. And again, that first click sets the start point, and then we, every time we click, we can change direction and follow the route of the transect. And once you reach the end point, double click, and then I'll do my last section. And double click to finish. So once you've finished, if that all looks great, that's brilliant. Um, but you can make some changes if you need to at this point. So if I click on the section that I want to make some changes to, I can use the modify tool. So a little square with a pencil. If I select that, this will bring up some nodes on that section and I can move these to be able to make the changes that I need to. So if I want to actually make this section go around the whole field boundary. I can select these nodes and move them so that it changes the route. And then when you're finished, you can click onto another section and that'll set that. So you can also, um, so if you just want to delete that whole route, you can erase the route. So that will remove the lines that you've drawn for that section. You can delete a section completely by remove section. You can also insert a new section as well. But once you've drawn the sections and you're happy with that, you can move on to adding in your section details. So this is where we add in our habitat and land use details for each section. So we've got the preset lists for the habitat types and the land use types. So for your principal habitat, select the habitat that is most dominant on that section. So we'll say, for example, 
this section is a hedgerow. And we can put in further layers of habitat. Um, so for example, I could add in some stands of tall herbs. So for example, there might be some patches of willow herb um, in amongst the hedgerow. And you can do that for your third habitat and fourth habitat present as well, if you like to. But the key thing is to have the principal habitat there. You can add in some free text to describe the habitat if you think that would be helpful for us. And then you can select the primary land use and also a secondary land use. And again, some free text if you want to add some more information for us. Once the information is all in, we click save. And then we go on to do the same for each of the sections. So once that's all complete, that's your transects, transect registered. So if we go up to the My Sites, that transect will appear here. So you can still at this stage make any edits if you need to. So we've got an edit button at the end. And that brings us back to the transect detail. So you can make any changes that you need. So what happens then is at our ends, we need to um, approve all new transects. So we take a look over them. Um, if everything looks great, we'll approve them and we'll send you an email to let you know the transect has been approved and is ready for data entry. If there are any problems with the transect again, we'll get in touch, we'll send you an email and go through um, any issues and, and help you resolve those. So once transects have been approved, you're able to submit data. Once data has been submitted, the transect will be locked. So that means you can't make any um, additional changes to it. So if there are any changes to your transect after data has been submitted, please get in touch with us um, at bwalk at bumblebeeconservation.org. Um, and we can go through any issues um, with any changes to your transect. So that's your transect all registered. So you're able to go out and do your surveys and once it's been approved, submit your data. Thank you for listening.